Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was on a phone call and um, Sister Rose had to remind me that's nine o'clock. I didn't know the time went so fast. No um, worries. So no my apologies for coming in so it late. It is well. It is no well, sir. So it is well. can open up um, with someone praying. I'm going to just quickly go into a song that the Lord prayed for my heart. Amen. And I've been to remember this. I'm not going to do the whole song. Just a, just, just a little verse. A little chorus, sorry. Because I've been feeling this. I need this. I need him to do this. Uh, and the, the, the song goes, Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Ooh. Come and quench this first in love, my soul. Amen. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Mm -hmm. Come and quench this first in of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, man. Bless hey. you. Bless you. Lovely song. Bless you. Fill my cup, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. Wonderful, the wonderful, inspired, inspired song. Yes. You know, we all need to say to Lord, to the I Lord, like fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Uh -huh. That's right. Come yes. and quench. Because yes. the, the, the thing is, um, well, I think someone's going to pray, David. Um, yes. Um, Binti, you want to start us with some prayer, please? Yeah, okay. Um, first, before I start, I'm going to tell you the foundation of our prayer, even in future. We have to pray for what we're doing. Amen. It's very, very important. It's not, it's not about me, you, or oh, don't we get on we can get on well we can be good 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 forget about the family in law but i'm saying to you the priority is what paul said when christ died i died with him when he rose i rose with him amen so nothing nothing can stop us father lord i come before you right now in the name of jesus i pray you touch brother donald you press brother d you Bless me, Lord. Cover us in the your blood. Yes, Lord. Every filthy garment that the enemy has tried to bring, we refuse, we reject, we cancel it. Cover us and our family and all the people that we spoke to and all nation in the world. Because we hear your, your, the journey you're giving us or you're giving to the, is the nation. We hear that nation why I say, Lord, certain of things, when I've been praying about three weeks now, you, when, you, when, when I pray for anyone, don't know, they, there's always something you show me in the spirit yes, Lord. about this, how, how, God, how you, how you want them to be. Lord, I pray, oh God, you give them the understanding. I'm here, Lord, to always encourage them like they will encourage me. I'm here to learn from them, same way I'm learning from them. Father, Lord, daily and whatever I say, in the name of Jesus, cover us under your blood. We pray, O oh God, we're going to stand firm, no matter what, firm, strong, yes, Lord. to accomplish your work. And Satan, we send you back to send mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, we, we need to put the devil where he's supposed to be under our feet. Yes, that's right. That's yes. where that's his place under yes. our feet. So, yes, you know he don't get to try to put fear in us or anything like that. Uh, try to be um, the, the, the beguile us or anything like that when we put him under our feet, because that's where he belongs. That's right. So. 
So we give God thanks, my brothers. Amen. And, uh, you know, thank God for you both, and um, Amen. thank God for your uh, your determination and your <laughs> willingness to meet and talk with about the Lord. You know, something the Bible says to us that um, when they meet often and talk about the Lord, it says a book of remembrance is written up. I don't know if you've read that, my brothers. My brothers, are you still there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening. So, so it says, it, it says, when we meet often, yes, and talk about the Lord, mm -hmm. a book of remembrance is written up mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. them that fear the Lord. So, um, so what that what the, that is telling us is that any time we talk about the Lord, every time. We talk about the Lord. Oh. Heaven make a note of it. Yes. You understand yes. me? Whenever we, yes. whenever two or three come together yeah. mm. to yeah. talk about the Lord, there's a note in heaven mm -hmm. that we met this time. God make a note of it. Yes. All three of us got together to talk about the Lord. That's what yes. the Bible says. Yes. I think the scripture. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember where the scripture is. I said when you meet often and speak about the Lord, a book of remembrance is written up, which is wonderful. So anytime we, so whenever we talk about the Lord, it's never in vain, and there's a blessing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. So we are we are we are truly blessed. We are blessed today, and I'm glad for you, my brothers. Um, yes. For your, you know, for your your desire to meet and talk about the Lord. Um, David, I don't know if you're going to lead us in, in a scripture. I do have a scripture, just um, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. Um talking about love and I, I think I think that love is a very important aspect of our of our faith yeah. but not the kind of love that the world celebrates yeah. Where, yeah. Where, where, where we love today and we don't when we hate tomorrow you know yeah. you can't you can't say that you know in, in the modern times specifically for the younger generation they're taught that you can fall out of love you know I was I always say can you stop loving your mother or your father how can you fall out of love? You know, oh. there's a difference in what man has corrupted <laughs> the beauty of love that God created. Oh. Man has has tarnished the beauty of what love really is. And we who say we have Christ, we learn how to love because He gives so much to us. Yes. Like the song said, "Fill my cup." Yes. When you feel the joys of the Lord. You can forgive. When you feel the joys of the Lord, you can truly love. When yeah. you feel the joys of the Lord, you learn to love yourself. You know, Christ says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The expectation is that we learn to love ourselves. And there are many people in this day who don't love themselves. And because of lack of self-love, they do all kinds of things. And you know, it's very easy for the enemy to tempt you to do all kinds of things when you don't love yourself. It's very easy for you to tolerate certain things in your life and to be attracted to certain things in life when you don't love yourself. Where's the scripture, love, David? Sorry. Oh, it is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it now. Oh, wonderful, oh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. verse 4 to 8. We're just talking about love. Love, love, love. love is very, very important. So we have, we who have Christ, we have real love. God teaches us a gappy love, where it's a love that is unconditional. Many times people say that they love unconditional, but do they really love unconditional? That's right. To love someone and not expect to receive nothing in return, you just love the person. No, for someone who doesn't know how to love, you feel sad for them because if only they had what you had from Christ. If only they had, they only understood the power of love, the, the beauty of love, the strength that we find in love. And in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, Chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. It says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. 
Love does not parade itself. Uh-huh. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all, all things. And in, and in verse 8 it says, Love never fails. Whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. Mm. So telling us that love, love conquers all. You can't mm. love today and hate tomorrow. If you love, it's for eternity. Love never dies. Yes. Love is strength. And God is love. Wonderful. I think that the most important aspect for us to, to remember is that God himself is love. Mm. Sometimes we feel God can't hear us, so God won't forgive and the enemy likes to speak into our left ear and tell us something different. Oh, it's too late for you. But God says, no, repent. We have Psalm 51 to repent. And I would suggest that we all repent every single day because we know that we all fall short of God's glory. Yeah. Oh. The enemy will always put things into your pathway to make you go against what God wants for us. And God yeah. is so perfect. Christ says, be perfect yes. because your Father in heaven is perfect mm-hmm. and if our heart's desire is to please God that's what God wants that's what God wanted from David that's why the Bible tells us that David was a man after God's own heart because God searched his heart not just his deeds we can be doing things with our hands giving and the heart is not right and God will not be pleased God will not receive it he says be a cheerful giver because again he's speaking about our heart be a cheerful giver Give from your heart. Don't give because it makes you look good. And I, I think that's an issue that we have to continue to push. That God sees and knows all things. As David said, even if I hide under a rock, still you will find me. There's nowhere to hide. We can't be out here pretending to represent God. And in our hearts, there's something else going on. You know, it speaks about, um, uh, where is it? Verse, um, yeah, yeah, it's not puffed up. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. It's not about self-promotion. We have to be humble. Very, very humble mm. enough for God to use us. You yeah. can't use us the humble. Yeah, yeah. Once we become puffed up and begin to think that we, it's about us, yes. then we begin to fall. And God will always do things to, 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 to bring you back down, to humble you, to remind you that there's only one God and it's Him. Whenever we find ourselves being puffed up, we know it's the works of Satan. We know that Satan was cast out because Satan himself was puffed up. Yeah. Those kind of desires, they all come from him. Self, self-promotion, which we see too much of. So, um, yeah, love is, love, love, love is very, very significant, especially in this day and in this time. Um, people who are in the world need to see the love coming from us because we are his servants here on earth. We're here to promote God's message. We're here to, to not only just promote it with our mouths, but to also to, to live it, to be a living testimony to God's word. We must be the living word. We have to be the living word. We have to exercise all of God's teachings in the world, regardless of who the person is. And that's what God's looking for right now. There is too much distraction, too much confusion, too much, too many people not fearing God enough. And the fear of God is very, 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 very important. So God's, God is love. Love is a beautiful thing, and love conquers. God's love, God's love conquers all. I'm a living testament to that. That God's love conquers all. That's my message. Today. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, brother David. Wonderful. And um, I had mentioned to you earlier that maybe we should have a theme um, for our telecon for our yes. Zoom conference. And Amen. I think we can use love today, and we can stay on the subject of love. Maybe yes. another week we can talk about faith and or uh, something other subject and whatever the mm-hmm. Lord put on your heart. But uh, it's wonderful that we, you know, we we just discuss this thing called love. You know, yes. it's wonderful because um, sometimes love is misinterpreted. Mm-hmm. You know, it's quite often misinterpreted. Um, yeah. You know, they say faith without works is dead, That's and. Right. Um, the, you know, the, <laughs> if you love me, you should show me love. Mm-hmm. It's no uh, use we say we love each other 
and then mm-hmm. we can't speak together. We can't we can't meet like how we're doing now. That's right. Yeah. And we can't discuss the word of God. It, it, it's pointless. We say mm-hmm. we love each other, and mm-hmm. we have the love of God in us. Mm-hmm. And um, the, Bible, the Bible says, if we say we love God and we hate our brother, the truth mm-hmm. is not in us. That's right. You know, yes. we have to love each other. That's right. Yes. Love is the key. Mm-hmm. Love is the key that opens every door. That's right. Yes. Do you yes. know, last week, yes. Brother David, if you remember, Brother Winter, we, we mentioned about fear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And do you know what the Bible says? Mm-hmm. It says, perfect love cast mm-hmm. out fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's in John 1. Thank you. First John. <laughs> Thank you very much. Perfect love conquer everything. That's right. So, so this thing, love, is a very powerful, powerful thing. It makes us, uh, my brothers, it makes us powerful. Mm-hmm. The more love we have, it's the yes. more powerful we are. Mm-hmm. We, yes. we may appear to yeah. the world, we may appear to the world to be weaklings, mm-hmm. but the more love we have, the more powerful we are in the sight mm-hmm. of God. Because yes. you know, when we have love for each other, the Spirit of God dwelleth in us. That's right. Yes. Amen. And if we keep the Spirit of God dwelling in us, it makes us, I think it makes us powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. But people sometimes yeah. misinterpret love and as, 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 as say you're weak when you mm-hmm. talk about love. Mm-hmm. But love, brethren, is very powerful. And I'm glad That's they pick right. up this subject. Um, Brother David, it's, I, I mean, the Lord put it on your heart um, to talk about it. People don't realize how how powerful we are when we have inside of us the love That's of right. God. That's right. You right. know, it says, um, love, envy it not. Mm-hmm. Love mm-hmm. is not puffed up. So what yes. it's telling us, my brothers, is that I'm not supposed to feel any better than you because we are children of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the same love that God has for me, He has it for you. Yes. So I cannot lift myself at any time above my standard to say that I am above my brethren. We are all one in the sight of God. Mm-hmm. And that is love. Mm-hmm. Love envy it not. We know a lot of people envy. The world envies. That's correct. But love does not envy. Brother David. Brother Binti. Okay. Yes. So how it it works now, brother? So you have a big house. Hmm. Okay. And you have a big bank account. Mm -hmm. Right? I am a... We are both children of God. I cannot envy you because you have a big house and a big bank account and I have nothing. Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm not supposed to look at what you have and compare to what I have. The love of God doesn't compare. Mm-hmm. It's spirit. Mm-hmm. It's the spirit of God that is in us. The Bible says we must not know any man after the flesh. You, but you know, we, we shouldn't know each other mm-hmm. after the flesh. Once we become children of God, we are spiritual people. Mm-hmm. So, um, is it say that um, people expect um, that we are to be perfect in the flesh? We are never perfect in the flesh. The flesh never. is never perfect. Never. The, flesh, the flesh cannot be perfect. The Bible says the, the, it is not subject. The, remember the Bible said the flesh is not subject. The carnal never. mind is not subject. Never. It's not subject never. to the laws of God. Never. The carnal mind is not subject to the law and cannot be. The spiritual man is never. subject to the law of God. The carnal never. mind is not. Right. So when we have love, we don't think about uh, what we have, what we possess. Because a man, wow. life is not made up of what he possess. You know? Exactly. Riches doesn't make us anything. 
You know, I, I just bought it as an illustration that sometimes people look at other position and tend to judge them. But God, God don't do that. And neither should we. Yes. What do you think of that, Brother Binti, before? Well, I, I, I totally agree because you see, that, that love, when they will start saying, is, agape love is different because Jesus already tell us mm -hmm. in, in John 15, uh, he make it quite clear. The greater love to mm. lay down your life for your friend. That's right. Mm. You, you, you understand the greater love to lay down your life for your friend. Yes. But you no were saying love. in First John chapter 4, verse 18, again, First John, he said, perfect love conquer everything. Yes. You see, when, when, when you take those scriptures, you, you look into it, you say, why? You know, but now look at what Jesus reminds us. Where you said, you just said about people don't understand, don't, don't, don't acknowledge the law. They don't, they don't understand. You know why? Because Jesus told us again, men love darkness. You see, rather than light, men love darkness Virtue. more than light. Yes, yes. You see now, now, how can you demonstrate that law even in your family, out your family, even your children, that law? is higher than even you love your children, your family. I, I, I'm saying this is a challenge in our time right now. This is where we fail. This is where you see a lot of men, women, they go down. They, 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 because they can't flow with that love. They can't, they can't prove themselves, just themselves between them and God. Do you understand? And Satan like to do, to capitalize on that. And that love, you cannot, you cannot, I cannot hold nothing against you. Even now, that love, that love, when you are offended, that's why that love comes more stronger in you. If you do love God, and if you, if you obey God's commandment, that love has to be more stronger when you be offended. Because I've been seeing myself more than 10 years now, where that kind of offended come. <laughs> Only that scripture, what you just said first, John. And we are just perfect law. Perfect law conquer everything. Yes. So if I, if, if you don't have that love and analyze and put that love straight in your mind, your heart, you finish. That's right. This is why you see David was able to carry on do his journey because he loved God so much. He would dance until his try and his and the pants fell off. He worship. Just yes. imagine a big man worship until he he. He sees his children kill his children. He sees his children. His son rob his daughter. The man is still love God. You know, you tell me. You tell me. What character is that? You tell me. <laughs> I'm telling you. you. You look at Joseph in a pit. In a pit before he come prime minister. He's there in the pit. That's mean in the pit. He wee, he poo. He, how long that man was in that pit? Just the love of God. You see? And that's where we are far. When I say we. I'm not talking about S direct. I'm talking in general. Even those people, they don't acknowledge that law. Mm -hmm. And you can't walk with God. You don't have that law. Mm -hmm. you, you, you understand? Mm -hmm. and, and that's why we have, that's why I was talking to David before you come. We have to be very, very careful in this work. Mm -hmm. Right now, we know everything about wrong that way. If you do that way, it's wrong towards God. It's wrong. But we have to make sure we always line up. It doesn't matter what mistake we make, but we have to always make sure. Because I'm telling you, that love is a long, long ladder until you die. Mm -hmm. You remember Paul? Mm -hmm. What John said? My grace. Paul have an issue. Yeah. You remember? My grace mm -hmm. is such a shame for you. Yes. My, imagine that great work that man did. Everything that man did for Paul. The last minute was in my grace. Paul have an issue. <laughs> that love, that love is the biggest challenge in the world. Biggest. That's I, why I, the I, world is... Carry on. I totally ah. agree. I totally, absolutely agree with you, um, Brother, um, Brother Minty, because 
uh, it, it is a great thing. As I said, love is a very, very powerful thing. And you know what we need to do as children of God is to gather and cultivate more love, more love, more love. Because, you know, sometimes, as I say, it, love seems to be misinterpreted. Because you, if we look at verse um, verse 3 here, David, it says, Though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, all my goods mm -hmm. to feed the poor, and I give, though I give my body to be burnt, and have not oh. charity, it profited me nothing. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. So you get all your wealth and you give it to the poor. All your goods, you give it to the poor. And people, do, we have to remember that people do this. Uh -huh. There are very, there are a lot of charitable people who uh -huh. give the last that they have uh -huh. to the poor. Imagine that. And there are people who even give their body to be burnt. Uh -huh. I mean, for instance, look at those suicide bombers. Uh -huh. They give their body to be burnt. Isn't it? They kill themselves mm -hmm. for whatever is whatever, whatever cause they say they kill themselves. They they commit they, they suicide and mm -hmm. kill other people. Mm -hmm. They think that is gonna get them a place in heaven, but there's no, there's no love. No love. <laughs> I, I, I must add something. This is very very important. I have this because <laughs> it's been playing on on, on my mind. Um, it's on the same topic of love. Um, a few years ago I had a conversation regarding this very matter and it was, um, I was told about, someone gave me information about someone having a will and in, on the will they pointed out that they were going to give a certain portion of their will to certain children who were closest to them and I remember saying but how can that be right? You know, I have children no matter how many children I had, if I, did, if whoever was closest to me, it's, 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 it's relevant. Because once I have God, I know that I have to share everything even. You know, God's love, God teaches that you don't, you don't favor one over the other, depending on how you believe your relationship with that child is. They're all your children. You know, the Bible says that, that he causes the sun to shine on the just and the unjust. Yes. And the clarification of all this is what Christ said. In um, Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Then he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods, of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possession with political living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. When he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father. And will say to him, Father, I have sinned against you. That I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion. And ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. And am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him. And put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. And bring the fattest calf here and kill it. Let us eat and be merry. For this, my son, was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his oldest son was in the field. And as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked, what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. 
So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I have oh. never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours comes, came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed a fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. So if ever proof were needed of how God's love looks, that is a classic perfect example yeah you know, Christ even said that you know if you do things just for your family it doesn't impress him he said even 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 the tax collectors even the wicked do for their family that's why he gave us that's why he gave the example of the good Samaritan you know, where you help a complete stranger yeah when we say we have the love of God there was a change as Paul said behold old things have been made new old things have passed away mm -hmm. christ confirmed again by saying you cannot pour new wine into old wineskin because it will seep out again. that's right but first you need the new wineskin to pour in the new wine that's right so god god will tear down and rebuild he tears down because better to to do build from the foundation upwards than to do a patchwork yeah with god he does not play around well all. yeah so God's love, God's love is is an immeasurable love, and you know that's why Christ says the tree is known by its fruit. By their fruits they are known. We know when someone's been changed by God. You know, the, the, the it says, it says, where are my accusers? When someone comes to accuse you of your past, it's not the past that counts. What are you doing now that you have the Savior? What are you doing now that you say that you represent Christ? Where is the fruit? Where is the change? Where is the born again example? Is the old man still there? Is there remnants of the old man? But it Paul says, I die to the flesh daily. So, like I said before, the scriptures is there to teach us, you know, where we need to be. David set the example by forever asking God to search him and to see if there was any iniquity and remove him. We have to let go of the old man. We have to tr yes, think sir. of the perfect God that we serve, the merciful God that we serve. We must be reminded that his mercy endures forever. That is the love. Yeah, his mercies endures forever. Mm -hmm. That is the template for all of us. That is God's perfect love, and it, you know, the only way we can be accepted by Him, we have to exercise that ourselves. So, regardless of what my children may put me through, they are my children, and God made it that way. He made the decision before I was even born that these children would come from me, and I can't be out here preaching the gospel to the masses when, look, I have issues at home. I could not be doing anything representing God and not clear up those issues at home. He says, do not come to his presence when you have issues that needs to be dealt with, whether it be a brother, sister, mother, father, anybody, even your neighbor. You must deal with these things because God is so perfect. God is so wonderful. God is so mighty. Yeah. None shall see his faith face until your appointed time. That's how great God is. We were told that when Moses came from the mountain, he had a shine, a sheen on his face. His hair went white. That's the God that we serve. We fall short of his glory. So we must, in order to be connected with him, in order to receive from him, we must have love in our hearts at all times. Yes. All times. Yes. So I, I, had, to, I had to say that. No, that is fine. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, that story of the prodigal son is a very intriguing story. Um, you know, something that um, makes us think um, how you know how God loves us. Because sometimes, because we was, we stray from God, and we was alienating ourselves from the commonwealth of Israel. We are the true. We are the true people of God. You know, and that's, that's right. what we have to realize. We are the true people of God. And um, even though we fell under the curse because that's what put, put us into slavery because we, we disobeyed God and we turned away from God. And the, the thing that happened to black people through slavery is because we strayed away from God. But, you know, the love of God is 
still yet there. So he says, return unto me. In Malachi, it says, return unto me, and I will return unto you. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to remember, it's the prodigal son, okay? He was the son of his father, right? Mm -hmm. He was the literal son of his father. So he went away to a, uh, to a foreign country, took all his, his, his that God that he, that he had, all his living that he had from, took his, what's from, and he went and, 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 and flaunted, and it all went. All his wealth, everything that he had, went, and he went down to nothing. He went down to nothing. But he remember his father. And he came, the, 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 the Bible says, when he came to himself. And we, we, are, we are talking about God, brothers, because we have come to ourselves. That's right. Right? We have come to ourselves. And we realize that we have a heavenly father who loved us. With an everlasting love. And though we have strayed maybe through our ancestry, we have found ourselves in bondage. Through slavery and everything else. But God's hands is stretched out. And we are here because we come to ourselves and we're coming back to the Lord. And His hands is stretched out. The Father was so excited. To see his son. I imagine he was looking for his son. From ever since he went away. He was looking for him. Hoping that he will return. And so is God. It's a parable you know. Brothers. This is a parable. parable that you just read. Um, brother David. You just read a parable. About the man whose son went away. So it's telling us. And spiritually. We are the prodigal son. We are like the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. We have strayed away from the Lord, but the Lord, His hands is open right. to receive us. And not only that, but to kill the fatted cow mm -hmm. for us. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. God's perfect love. God's it's awesome. Love. It's awesome. But so, so we have to look at that parable as it belongs to us. Because we had strayed, and now we come back to the Lord, and the Lord receives us joyfully. That's that's and we, what, as his, that, and we as His servants, and we as His servants, we must also exercise that same love <clears throat> to anyone that comes in our presence. For them to feel, for them to, for them to see God, for them to, for our light to shine as Christ says, "Let your light shine before men, so they can see the good works." We must see that same works within ourselves. Of course. That's what we pray about daily so that we can be acceptable in, in his sight. The Bible says, let the words from my mouth and the meditation from my heart be acceptable in your sight. To be acceptable in the sight of God, we must exercise the same agape love that yeah. he's given to us, to others as well. Yes, so so he saved us. Mm -hmm. So what he, he wants now to do is to use us. That's correct. So we have to be like a light to the world, mm -hmm. as I, you know, I don't know if I, I mentioned that, that we have to be a light to the world. Without us, we the people of God, without us, remember, the Bible says, he, Jesus says, ye are the light, ye, that means us, we are the light of the world. So we have to shine before the world, we have to be a witness before the world. So men can be drawn through us. So that, that's where that comes in. He saved us. Now he, we have to be a place that he can use us. Amen. Brother Albert. Yes, sir. Are you I'm, still I'm there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening. I, 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 um, I find that... Um, Especially right now in our time, is um, we we um, as we have to do what God 
tell us to do. But because that love of God is a very big demand of love. Because you see why I'm saying that. Uh, just, just look at Christ. Those people, the whole Romans and his people, Jews, and all the people against him. But he turned around and said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. I'm saying, I'm saying that this is a role model that we have to learn from 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 uh, from 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 Jesus. Yes. What is that? But yet, why I'm saying that? Uh, a brother make a good point now about slavery. But remember, now this is a topic. When it comes to the law, for a thousand years, men and women of God have failed to say, there's a very tiny few men of God spoke about it. Most of them, they die. Because when they come to speak and teaching this thing, this is why I was saying earlier on today, we have to be very, very careful. Because that that love is, if you look at all the disciples, except one, all of them die because of the sake of Christ. Mm. You understand? Yes. So, now, what did what did Jesus tell his disciples? He tell uh, James, he tell Andrews, you left your business. Remember, they were fishermen. Yeah. <laughs> he told Peter, <coughs> you left. You left your family, your wife. For my sake. You, so now, what I'm saying to you is, that law is always easy to say. It, but there is more demand right now between me and you indeed. That law, there's a package. God is just sit down and watch us. God say, okay, let me do. Because number one, principle of that law, God changed people. Like when you say you save, He changed you. But it, yeah. it's love now. That correction is not easy at all. If you look at a man like David, if you look at Moses, you look at all these guys, it was not easy. Even mm -hmm. Peter. Jesus told you, oh, hold on a minute, Peter. Yeah, come on. You're going to fail me. Mm -hmm. You watch. <laughs> you watch, you're going to fail me. Three times, the court so, but look at the whole world as we sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to point out something to you. It's up to you if you can tell me now or you can tell me next time. Fair enough. But what I'm saying to you, look at the love of God. Yeah? As we are from way back up to now. How come that love of God, you are one place here, America and all, they are saying, you see, that, that's me, the way I understand scripture, that's the way I see. How come they have how come we have that love? That love is plain clear. Why? Why? These people they call they they are Christian, but me, I don't believe in that. So why that kind of behavior? Why that hate? Why that hate? Which means America right now are here in the country that they kill babies in a year is half of population of the whole West Indies. The babies they kill. But yet, God bless America. Yet, so many churches, so many churches, they even have one church, they say bigger church, a stadium, field Sunday. Same here. Yeah? Where is that love? And, and, and I'm telling you, why in America, these guy, so-called, Josh Maya and all, all this thing going on, they preach. Where is that love? Why they don't come and say, okay, we can say, we can say, okay, Jeff doesn't do that, Clifford doesn't do that, no. But yet, right now I'm telling you, Two men, 
two men. You will find out yourself. Google and see. Two men. Mary Hill is one. Yeah. Then Copeland. Because they agree with Black Trump. TBN. Move them on television. Just happened now. From last week and to now. Move them. You see? What I'm saying to you? These are the people who say. They love God. They are preaching. But yet, he moved them just because they agree with Trump. Say, about abortion, homosexual. Yes. And that's where, that's where, where we now preach. Yes. We have to be honest. I'm not, I, I, I'm not worried about them. That's not my concern. My concern is to tell the truth. Because that love of God is the truth. Either you die or you pretend. Or you leave. What I'm saying, in general... Believers are too comfortable. Too comfortable. Yes. And and it will come a time you you brother don't know now the way the way I, my prayer when I see you you God is is taking you to where you are now. I, I'm not speaking because you 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 you're a big man. You you got your responsibility. But I'm saying God will take you to a level right now where what what you use God will use you to. Not to a small group, to nation, where you come, same kind of an outing like Joshua. Take yes, them yes, yes, the yes, land. yes, 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 yes. I'm saying, at the same way when you say you were saying, this man of God was not happy with you, whatever video with him. What I'm saying to you, even your, your pastor has you close with him. I, I, I know that, yeah? I've been to the church, I've been with you, yeah? yeah? But what I'm saying to you, God will take you right now as you hook up with me and David and, 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 and where God wants us to speak. That's why we are speaking that way. Yeah. And I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when we see different attack, different channels come. Even in your children now. Yes. Even your wife. I'm telling you. Yes. That's why I um, was warning David before. M me, I'm telling you, every week I'm praying for you guys. Yes. And I'm telling you what I see God revealed to me on behalf of David on your behalf. On my behalf too. I don't know what you find out on my behalf. I'm telling well, you, it's a very, very, very serious topic. Well, what we are talking a very deep, 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 deep well, topic. Deep. Well, our heart goes out to you, brother, um, brother Binti, and um, you know our prayers are out for you as well. Definitely. And we pray that God will actually intervene in your life. We all under the attack, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know we have to pray one for another um, that we, you know, the Lord will. And prayers, there's a power in prayer. I think one of these days we must we must do one on prayer because there's so much power. That we don't realize what power we have when we call upon the Lord and when we bring any petition to the Lord. Uh, the Lord says, it says, that where, when two of you come together, asking anything, it, in my name, it shall be done. No, then we have to just stand up firmly on that. And whatever we ask God, we ask God to unite our family, bring us together in one. We we'll ask God to move all division, all power of the enemy, where the enemy attacking us right, left, and center. You know, and the devil, the enemy always don't like to see family living together in peace. Does it? So the devil always try to intervene in family affairs. So we have to pray one for the other that our family will be strengthened, that our family will will, will be cemented together, and that the, whatever plan the enemy may have may bring to naught. Um, no, the other thing you, you were saying, um, brother, is that um, about those television preachers. But the Bible tells us that um, by their fruits we will know them. So it doesn't matter how big this ministry or these um these tele evangelist ministries are it doesn't mean anything if they have 5000 members or how much 1000 members for us we look at it and say no the great man of god a great woman of god look at the side of the church look how many members they have you know talking about cleft a dollar T.D. Jakes, Joy, Joy, George Myers, and uh, the rest of them. 
we look at them. Oh, they are great men of God. That does not mean anything to God if they're not preaching the word of God. If they're uh, not telling, uh, it, if they're uh, not telling the people uh, what they need to do to be saved, uh, repentance. They are not. I, I, I used to listen to them. Uh, they do not preach repentance. Repentance uh, is the message. Uh, repentance uh, is the message. It's not about uh, um, prosperity. It's not about you having enough money to pay your mortgage uh, or pay. Uh, that doesn't uh, come first because Jesus uh, says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of." heaven and his righteousness and all other will be added unto you so what these tele preachers um, um, uh, um, television evangelists are preaching they're not preaching the gospel which is repentance they're not preaching about the birth death and resurrection of Jesus Christ they're not preaching about the coming of the Lord that the Lord is yet to come they are not preaching those things. And the Bible said, By their fruits they, they shall know them. What was the commission that Jesus gave to his disciples before he went away? He said, Going through all the world and preach the gospel, teaching men to repent. That is the gospel. It's not prosperity. The gospel is not prosperity. The gospel is repentance. Well, um, <laughs> Joyce Meyer has uh, a heading for um, a ministry and she says enjoying everyday life I would say that people have been enjoying everyday life for too long you know enjoying everyday life enjoying everyday life is definitely not the commission from Christ no the Bible distinctly tells us that we we are to be born again so we know that we come into this world mm. and whatever years the Lord blesses us with we have a chance to be redeemed we have a chance to find salvation. He says that each one of us have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And then we have a, a duty as servants of God to share the good news with others as well. To, to let his light shine. When we speak about the, the goodness of the Lord and how great he is and how we were once living in sin. And we may even discuss that the multitude of our sins and yet God's mercy was sufficient. That God accepted us because... We surrendered to him. We confessed oh. our sin to him. No, we repented our sins to the Father and he accepted us. And then we speak about the joys that we get serving the King, having him, you know, pleasing him, what it, what it means to please God and how we feel the, 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 the joys of the Lord within ourselves. The Bible says greater is in us than that which is in the world. When we, mm. when we receive the fruit of the Spirit, there's a massive change. There's a joy that you can't even explain you can't even comprehend until that you only can say to the person, taste and see that the Lord is good. Seek him yourself. The scripture says, seek, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. So we know when we see someone who's real. God will give it a spirit of discernment. You know when, when there's false prophets. You know, Christ says, be very mindful that you're not deceived. Be very careful that you're not deceived by false prophets. And there are many who will claim to come in his name. Whenever you hear people speaking about prosperity, you know, first and foremost, that person has not received the fruit of the Spirit. Because the blessings of the Lord is not something that you can see with your eyes. It's a joy within. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual joy. Yeah. You can't see spirit. You cannot see That's spirit. That's right. No, it's, 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 it's impossible to comprehend what God has in store. What you know when someone has it. Because the way they speak is different. There's, a, there's no comparison with the world and the Spirit. And the spirit world. The Bible says we're in the world but not of the world. That's right. Now whilst we're in the world, we must let the spiritual world shine so that they too will understand and see what we have. So there's there's no comparison to me, whether it be Joyce Meyer or any of them, Preflo Dollar, the whole lot. When I watch when I'm watching them, I find it very offensive. When I see what's being preached, I find it very hurtful. You know, when you love Christ, when you love God, the things against his kingdom affects you. Of course, you know, of course. You, you, you feel a, a stirring in your spirit that you can't explain. Of course, of course. You know, course. when you love God, just like if you someone says something about your child that's negative or about your wife or your mother, father, there's a feeling. But I would say the feeling when it comes to God's business, for me, is even greater. But there's a, it's just a frustration like, wow, look at all these people being deceived by this false message. 
And last thing I would say on the matter as well is that we have to understand that media is not of God. Media, the people who own these platforms, they are totally against God's kingdom. Totally against God's kingdom. So whenever you see anybody being promoted in media and they claim to be of God, use your spiritual discernment and see the truth. You know, the Bible says that Christ removes a scale from our eyes. God removes a scale from our eyes. That's what we're taught, that the scales removed from our minds. When we come to him, the things that we saw before, we see them differently now. The way we, the way we used to think before, we think differently. The things that we, that we were passionate about obtaining, we don't want those things anymore. We see them the way Christ described them. He says, why would you build up your treasures here on earth where moth will eat it? We understand, like Paul did, that it's to race against time. There's no time to be wasting time. Every single day that God grants is a gift. And we can't afford to waste it. Today we're all together in agreement. And I feel a joy and a pleasure mm -hmm. to be here, to be speaking God's word. You know, this is the best time of the day for me. I could speak about God all day long. And um, I remember when me and Binti used to speak about it until the day to daylight. I'm sure you remember Binti. Yes. Back in the day, we speak till, till morning. We both got yes. work in the morning, but we're speaking yes. till daylight. Yes. No sleep, no sleep. Yes. Because yes. that's what it looks yes. like when you receive yes. Yes. the fruit yes. of the Spirit. The joy is so much. Yes. That it's, it's everything. Christ mm. says that the rich man finds a kingdom and he would sell everything he has to obtain it. That's right. People need to hear that message, not prosperity. No. Because the world, the world promotes prosperity. How can we say we are in the world, not of the world, but then we're promoting the same thing as the world is promoting? Christ distinctly said that the world will hate us. That's right. Because the world also hated him. So if we are speaking of things of the world, then you know straight away that, that person is not of God. Not of God. And Christ says, by their fruits they are known. That's right. So we know once you're involved in media, it's impossible. Christ gave the example of the persecuted church. He made it quite clear that to serve him, to represent him, just as Peter and the disciples were faced when it came to denying Christ, we have to be strong and believe and trust with all our heart, all our might, all our soul, with all that is within us. We have to be willing to die for the cause. Yes, yes. There's a song that says, I will die at my fault. And, and it's, it's, it, it, we have to put in a literal meaning as well, because the thing is, um, when, when we have a made up mind, you know, nothing can stop us, nothing should stop us. And um, fear is not something that is going to get in our way. And we shouldn't let it get in our way. Because oh. we have to be focused. And God wants us to be focused. And when we are focused, right. then we know we are ready for any challenges. You know, and, and you, I, I think you mentioned, I don't know if it was you or uh, Brother Binto men mentioned about um, the Elijah and those prophets and those men of all. And um, but the thing is, we today need to take in fill those gaps. We today need to be an Elijah. We today need we today need to be a David. We today need to be a Daniel. We we need to be today. That's what we need to do today. We need to be that. We need to fill those gaps. And God is depending on us to, to fill in those gaps. You know? No, 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 Brother David, I was mentioning the scripture here. I found it in Malachi. Malachi chapter 3. Mm -hmm. And it's from verse um, verse 16. Listen to what it says here. Um, Malachi, that's the book before, um, the book before Matthew's. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 16, it says, Then they that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord and that thought upon his name. You, you, you understand that word? Mm-hmm. Well, when he says, says, says meditate on his name. Yeah. In, in James Version. Yeah. We understand the implication of that word. Mm-hmm. 
So every time we come together in this fashion to talk about the Lord, and you said I you say that you and Binti used to talk for hours. <laughs> Till morning. Till the birds were singing. Till the birds were singing. <laughs> Well, that being the case, that was in the book as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's in God's book. I don't know how many times you guys was talking for hours on end. Yeah. But, but according to the Bible, uh -huh. according to the word of God from Malachi chapter 3 verse um, 16, uh -huh. Uh -huh. every time that you and Binti was talking for those long hours, it was written in God's book. So it's like it's a credit. It's accredited to you. Mm -hmm. You know, um whenever we do things like this, it's like I always say that when we do things that God is pleased with and we know he's pleased that we as brothers are coming together to talk about him, he is pleased. Right? Because he said where two or three are gathered together, he will be there in the midst. So he is pleased, right? When we know that we are doing things that is pleasing to God, it is awesome. It is wonderful. Definitely. Because God make a note of it. And it's like you have, you have a bank account and you put money in your bank account, isn't it? And if you keep putting money into your bank account, your bank account gets high, doesn't it? You get more and more. If you keep putting and don't take out, mm -hmm. depends on how much you put in your bank account gets high. Mm -hmm. And then you, if you keep putting and for after a while you look, your money is mounting up. So it mm -hmm. is. So it is. So when we meet and talk about the Lord, it is mount. It is putting money in our spiritual bank. Mm -hmm. And. Um, uh -huh. I feel also it, um, we need that. You, you need to be in situations where you're in agreement because many, many times God, will, God wants us to be out there speaking and encouraging those who don't know Christ to come to him. And that comes with a lot of challenges. You know, when you're pouring out and you can sometimes see that they, the person you're pouring out to, they want to receive, but maybe they're not. And God will give you many different messages, many, many different words and break those words down so even a baby can understand it and you're pouring in sometimes it's very easy to become impatient because you want to see as human beings it's natural for us to want to see changes quickly sometimes you feel the person you're pouring into has made two steps forward and three steps backwards so when we cut avocations like this where we're in agreement you get that extra strength spiritual strength physical strength you're, you feel energized because now you're speaking in agreement just as if you have a good church that you can go to and you, you, you're praising God together, the belief is that most of the people around you also believe and you're all praising God together and there's a strength that you get. But most times we're out there by ourselves, whether you're going to work, whether you're you know, amongst strangers, whether you're trying to help younger generations of your family or friends, whoever, whoever God places it in, in, your, in your presence and you're trying to, to share with them God's message or you're around people who don't, who don't believe and you want to share God's message. It's a battle. And that's the most important, significant time that we're in right now, where people are very depressed, they're suicidal, they're unhappy, they're looking for answers. And we know that the answer is right here. But like what we spoke about before, where there are false prophets out there giving different messages, sometimes they've really been mistaught by these people. And then we have to now say, no, but that's not the way it's meant to be, because look, and then we share a scripture, and we share a scripture. So now you're trying to undo the, the, the misguided information, the misguided word that they were being shared with, with, with those who we see on big platforms. That's why they were not big platforms. You know, principalities in high places, the enemy has, uh, he controls this world. And we are battling for God's kingdom in this world. We're, we're, it's a big battle. Yeah. You know, sometimes we have to realize that this fight is not for us, but it's for God. And as you said, coming together in prayer, you know, you can move mountains. If you believe Christ says the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. You know, we were told that, you know, one can chase a thousand, 
So we know that, you know, even as one person, can you imagine the strength of coming together, how much more you can do? So for me, that's why I find in doing this, this is God's commission. This is what God wanted to happen. He is the head of what we're doing right now. And, I'm, I, and I know in my spirit that that's what he wants. For iron to sharpen iron, but for us to be very, very mindful that with this commission comes a great level of responsibility. You know, every time when we're by ourselves, we have to look within ourselves. You know, are we doing enough? Are we living in an acceptable way to God? Are we making sure that we look into every avenue of our lives that things are in in where in order? You know, as men who are married, we know that we are the head of the home. Are we being the head of the home? Can can our wives look at us and say, "Yep, yeah, my husband is being the head of the home." The wife is meant to be the helper. You know, the wife sometimes if we're feeling low, her job is to is to remind us of how God, how great God is. And what God wants from us. Well, that's what the offer is. The Bible says, do not be unevenly yoked with unbelievers. If, you're, if your wife is not doing her job as the helper, then she's not doing a, God, a job that pleases God. You know, we go to God. She, she prays for us. And we go to the king. Mm. You know, the Bible says, love your wife as Christ of the church. Mm. What if God puts us in the presence of an unbeliever? And an unbeliever says, oh, how can the man be the head? Because when they're being taught, the world is teaching them that everybody's equal. They're all equal. It doesn't make no difference, man or female. And we see the confusion in the world because of that. Yeah. Because they've gone against the will of God. We see now man does no longer know who he is. The female no longer knows who she is. Everything is out of order. But God is a God of order, not a God of confusion. Yeah, so but... When we're sharing his message, we have to be mindful that the eyes of the Lord is upon us. And we cannot ever come on here and speak his word without making sure that we clean house first. Yeah. It's a, it's a very serious position. You know, it's very easy. Christ says, you know, first of all, remove, remove the plank from your own eye. Before we can speak about anybody else, when we're doing this, it's so important that we have to make sure that our lives line up with the word of God. For me, that's, that's the biggest frustration is when I see people speaking his, the word and then they have all these things that people can point the finger and again they say oh see look there's another one hypocrite and christ you know we always just as just as many times we see great men who were born into this world they spoke with a lot of power and passion and we see how the world twists and turn and edit what they said even like a martin luther king his word is edited what he said the only thing they want you to hear about martin luther king is that i have a dream speech they never want to, want you to hear the part where he says, I feel I've led my people into a burning house. We speak about the love of Christ, but Christ also showed wrath. He would say you hypocrite. Know, you know. Many times he said hypocrite. Many times Christ would use that word. You hypocrite. You know, it's, you, it's a reminder to us to remember to be acceptable yeah. in his sight. Yes. David, uh, you made a point there. Um, I'm just thinking you mentioned Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. And um, where, where he's concerned, and I think about him as a civil rights leader. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing we do. How many years ago Martin Luther King has died there's, for, for civil rights? There's nothing mm -hmm. we can do to let the white man accept us. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do to let the white yeah. man accept us. They will not. We have been in slavery for 400 years. Mm -hmm. I think it's from 1619 to 19, um, 2019. 400 years just expired since the first slave ship came to America. 1619, I think it was sometime in August. After all those 400 years of slavery, of being beaten down, you, you, if you read... Um, Deuteronomy 28, God told Moses that there would be a blessing upon his people if they obey his law and do his commandment. But on continuing down, he said, if you will not hearken, all the curses that is in Deuteronomy 28 has fallen upon us as black people, black people people mm -hmm. okay god's, god's people i say i say rather than even say black we are god's people yeah god's people, term, god's people even the term even the term black was given to us 
by the very people who have us. Okay, but it's just to identify, that identify that ourselves, name. yeah. But it was yeah, just to identify us as, as, as um, the people who came into slavery. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I just said, so I think when I say black, I just meant like that sort of thing. Yeah, I hear you. I'm just adding that. Um, I was only adding that because it's yeah. just to show you the level of bondage where they yeah. gave us a name. Of course. If you look in the of dictionary, course. it's negative. Of course. Everything to do with black, they use it as of a course. negative, of so course. they gave us that name. Well, we're not black and they're not white. Um, mm -hmm. But the th the, all the curses in Deuteronomy 28 is exactly what we have been going through since um 1619 all the way even up to now so the thing is that it doesn't matter how we protest uh what you riot or you plead the white man will never feel give us the freedom or the liberty that we are due that, to do you ever think about moses in that situation do you remember the bible tells us that god hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Yeah. He, he purposely hardened the heart. These people who we classify as being white, it's not about them. It's never been about them. It's about us. We are the reasons why we are in bondage, just as, just as in the time of, of Moses, when they were set free from their bondage, and they were being fed, and they complained, and then for 40 years they were in the wilderness. It's that same stubbornness that we have. We see our people to this day, we forever, we, we happen to dance and to party, and to try to be like them, to be accepted by them, when the scripture is already written for us, which says, if my people who are called by my name would only turn away from their wicked ways, mm. I would hear their cry. That message is to us now. It's been there for years, but we don't do that. Still, we want, we want, we want what they have. We hearken after what they have. Yeah. They are here for that very reason, to keep us in bondage. When you hear the same people when we're speaking about, talking about God, and they, they worship the same God, it's impossible. Because it would be very, very easy for anyone who's classified as not black to see where there is help needed. It will be God's people who needs the help. We are the last. There's nothing that's written that describes their lifestyle, where they already have all that the world has to offer. We are the ones that are been scattered, that have been suffering. And where are they when the suffering takes place? We look through history. Where have they been? There's only one place. If I'm born not of, of color, there's only one place I need to go to help God's people. It has to be those people there, which mm. is us. We are his people. Yeah. The scripture is there. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. Yeah. Perfectly right. Um, and what I'm thinking as well is to say that um, God said... Now, we're talking about love. I think our topic is about love. God said, He says, Jacob, I love, but Esau, I hate. Have uh, we ever thought why God said He hates Esau? Remember, Esau was first born, oh. he sold his birthright. The Bible says when he came out, he was red. He wasn't black, he was red. Uh. Referred to, so we refer to all these people who are red in complexion because what happened, their blood shows through their skin. That makes them red. That they are descendant of Esau. And God has break down as promise forever that his love he will he, 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 he will curse Esau because Esau sold his birthright he didn't value it so therefore there's a, we, we have to go by the word of God and there are people who God hate and it doesn't matter what you do um, when I look at the scripture and I think about um, when um, God told Saul, Saul, the first king of of Egypt of, of Israel, to go and slay the Amalekite. I don't know if you remember that scripture that God yeah, told yeah, Samuel yeah, yeah, yeah. told Samuel yeah, yeah. to go and tell Saul to slay the Amalekite. He said, "Children." Adults, animals, wipe them out utterly, utterly. 
That was the commandment. Uh, so it shows when God is against a race of people, He doesn't count them. He doesn't count them. And think, when we think about ourselves as from slavery till now, the Bible says the curse that was in um, Deuteronomy chapter 28. He says, you because of all nations. And who is more rejected of all the nations on the earth more than us? If you go to China, they reject us. If you go to um, 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 Japan, if you go to Saudi Arabia, if you go to Iran, if you go to Russia, if you go to anywhere in Europe, we are hated according to the scripture. But God said he will bring back, he will lift the curse. Uh, but but can, can I ask you one question? Yeah. Do you think, as the scripture said in Deuteronomy 28, do you, do you think God, God was against what was against um uh pharaoh if god was against pharaoh mm. um, because remember god used moses for one that particular purpose remember it was god plan moses to born as a hebrew slave yes then god have to plan that use Moses' mom to put him in a basket, throw yes. him to go to Pharaoh. Yes, there was not a house; it was a palace. Yes, and his sister picked up Moses. His sister, because it's a palace so big, his sister pretend to to his dad Pharaoh that that's my son. Yes, Moses was born to be her son. Right, but yet what I'm saying. Was God against Pharaoh? Well, the thing is, God gave Pharaoh opportunity to repent. Remember, God gave ten plagues, brought ten plagues upon Egypt. Imagine that you, Moses went to Pharaoh continuously and let my people go. He said, I will not. So he had the plague of the flies. He had the plagues of the water turning blood red. He had the plagues of the frogs. He had the, the plagues of darkness. He had the plagues of the killing of the firstborn. So imagine then that God gave this opportunity to Pharaoh to repent and he would not. He still would not let the children of Israel go. So the Bible says God hardened his heart. The Bible says, God hardened his heart. And because of that, it was to his destruction. Are you there with me? I'm here, I'm here. But Brother Binti, I'm not sure if he might have gone. Binti, you still there? No, I think he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. So, uh, we were talking about Pharaoh. He was asked in the favor of God, um, if God did not like Pharaoh, did, mm, but yeah. obviously God gave Pharaoh every opportunity to repent, and he would not. Mm -hmm. With all those plagues that God brought upon Egypt, ten plagues, there was opportunity for him to repent, but he did not. And there was no shot on all that, that obviously um, God knew Pharaoh's heart, that it wasn't going to be acceptable. Because that's why he was able to harden his heart, harden his of heart. Of course, of course. And we were able to see the greatness of God. Of course. Through the plagues and the miracles that of were course. done during that, of course. that time. Of course. So we have to look at what what happened in Egypt in mm. those days as what is happening to us now. That's right. Because when I, when I say that there will, no matter what happened, no ma I mean, what, what, what I'm thinking about is what is currently happening, right? Mm -hmm. You know, with um, Floyd George, um, how they killed him. Mm -hmm. in the street in the broad daylight and then now this brother who they shot seven times in the back mm -hmm. you would think what happened with Floyd George would have made the, all the police them come together and said we can't do these atrocities mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but they still go on. Yeah. So yeah. what? My point is, David. So what is happening mm -hmm. now in the current affairs? What we are seeing mm -hmm. it's the same mm -hmm. thing with fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I they will you. not. I, I, was, I hear you. I have to add as well, but this is this is where this is where we may have a difference of opinion. I believe that our people have not learned. We are not learning, Donald. We don't learn. We don't do nothing different. It's the same situation. We have people have to make a decision. Either they're going to be in the world and continue in the world and hope for change, or others will become disenchanted, you know, depressed, down, and want to find something else. It's up to us, people of God, to make ourselves presentable, to make his light shine so that they will decide and understand that the only way to salvation, the only way out of bondage is through Christ. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. We have to, that has to come back. Even in the so-called civil rights era, it was the churches that were at the forefront. Yeah. But, uh, but, but, but it's, they've gone astray. We know that the churches have now, yeah. when you see these, these new pastors right now, they've been contaminated. They're yeah. almost like paid agents. Yeah. Their job is to just to keep calm. Yeah. Everybody calm and to be a part of the distraction. Our commission now is to speak the truth and that's where the persecution will come from yeah because they have these false prophets out here keeping the people calm they don't want the people to wake up yeah they want them to remain asleep you know up to us to speak god's message and it comes under the guise of god's love god is love people are hurting people are disgruntled people are confused people are depressed people are down they're suicidal and we're saying our message is that the answer is through christ if you want to be set free Forget about going on the street rioting because you can't. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's an imbalance. There's not, you'll never win that war. The thing, That's yeah. a physical war. Yeah. This is a spiritual war. The the, the 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 point the the other point is um brother which I think we agree on is mm -hmm. that um um it was God Himself who delivered the children out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. He used Moses, of course, mm -hmm. but it was God Himself. And the Bible says with a strong hand. Mm -hmm. So what we as children, as the children of God, is going through now, it's going to be a job for God himself, just as he, he caused fear and heart to be hardened. And just as he opened the Red Sea for let them go through, it is God's, this this what is going on now. With the COVID nineteen and all those things that you know they uh, they propose mandatory vaccine, mm -hmm. which and the proposed next um, lockdown and all those yes. things. Oh, they're I mean, plans. you know, it is it's, got, it's everything is in the hands of God, mm -hmm. and He knows exactly how what you know how to fix the situation. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that you and I can do no we, we can't we have fix to, it we have, but to we have to we have to be like like when like john the baptist was saying call the people to repentance yes because, yes, yes, yes. because we know we know that in the day of Sodom and gomorrah it was the same situation yes. where you know the question was asked will I, will I be given the chance to find at least 10 people who are worthy well we're, we're in a situation right now where where the masses are confused as i said before that the, the prosperity churches as as binti was mentioning they and you mentioned as well that they met, they have thousands who have been misled, who are who are basically not heading in the right direction, not not through thought of their own, but because they are deceived. You know, we, the scripture tells us that whoever deceives one of these little ones, it would be better that they put a noose around the neck and throw themselves into the water, because that angers God. Deceiving God, deceiving those that that are seeking God is is a very very great sin. And there are many that have been deceived and misled. And the commission for us, for all who believe in him, is to preach God's true message and to call the people to repentance. Only through repentance and will, will, we, see, will we see God's power here. Right now, there will be more suffering. There will be many more George Floyds, which are seen. There will be more. Well, as, as, obviously, as, as these, obviously. As these deaths, as these murders happen, though, uh, obviously. something has changed. No, this, 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 this is the point I'm trying... 
This is the point I'm trying to make, David, that you have to use the analogy of what happened to the children of Israel when they were in Egypt to what is happening to us now. Yeah. But they have, they have to come to God, though. They have to, they have to, God left, even when they were complaining about what they were eating, what did God do? He put them in the wilderness for 40 years. Yes, yes. This, this will continue to happen. And eventually, the people have to bow before God. Because when they realize that there's no other way, they have a choice to make. Uh, but, 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 yeah. Suffering. But, um, I don't know if you, there's a scripture where um, God said to Abraham that your children... Mm -hmm will be in bondage for 400 years mm -hmm. and after which uh, I could find the scripture for you I will mm -hmm. let them go I will mm -hmm. come I will deliver them with a strong hand mm -hmm. um, have you have you read that I've heard read that before but Christ also said that only through him will we find salvation so whether we're delivered from the bondage in the world what about salvation yeah, you'll be okay. Well, yeah, of course, of course, of course. God has got His people. You know, the, the Bible says His foundation standard sure. God knows uh -huh. that they they that are His. So uh -huh. God knows His people. Uh -huh. He knows everyone. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. know, it's not. That's why I said it's not everyone is children of God. It's not every uh -huh. man is children of God. Uh -huh. Are the seed? Are the promised uh -huh. seed? Or, or, or you know, because he says, Jacob, I love Esau, I hate, and Esau, I will break down his his, his foundation. Esau said, I will rebuild, and God said, Yes, and I will yet break it down. So mm -hmm. the scripture is saying that Esau has built up his foundation now, and the world is controlled by these Edomites. Mm -hmm. But God is going to come to deliver his people, and we need we, we can't check the numbers because we don't know the numbers. No, um, we don't know. The, Not at all. the Bible says, as it was mm -hmm. in the days of the day of Noah. And imagine mm -hmm. that when Noah preached mm -hmm. about the rain is going to fall, and nobody listened to him. No. What we're seeing today, nobody wants to hear about God. They don't want to hear about God. You know, they don't so want to hear about God. they don't want to hear about God. So it's the same thing is happening. So, but um, it says, as it was in the day of Noah. So it was. Noah preached for 120 years mm -hmm. until. Until, he said, God told him to go inside, and God locked the door. Mm -hmm. And imagine, imagine, it was just him and his family. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what I believe will be exactly the same thing now. But that's, what he, but that's what he. But that's what he. But that's what he said. That's what yeah. he said. That's what that's, mm -hmm. that's what he said. As it was mm -hmm. in the days of Noah. Anyway, mm -hmm. I, don't, I suppose you want to wrap up. Yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. So we've we've um. I've been to back. I've been, been to coming back. Yeah, we, we we can wrap up. But God is God. God is merciful, and I do believe that we that part of our commission as well. We have to be mindful of the baby food for those that we come into contact with that don't yet know the word of God, that have been misled, have been confused by a false prophet, false message. That we have to find a way to their hearts. We have to do everything that we can to let them understand the true message of Christ. Mm. I think that's that's where that's that's our that's our commission in, in this life right now. We're we're at the time of revelation. Twenty twenty has been a, a year where every month is a collection of disasters. And now now we're hearing about what's to come as well. And I do believe in my heart that the next few months will be very, very serious. I so think I think we have to be prepared for anything right now. I think anything. we have to, uh, and I think possibly we have to kind of prepare ourselves for another lockdown. Yes. Um, you see, the thing is, what we have to realize is that nothing ever happened by chance. Everything that's no. happening has been planned. That's right. And it's playing out right in front of our eyes. It's not. not mm -hmm. There's no chance. There's nothing happened by chance. Mm -hmm. You know, no. these 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 um virus was man-made. And it was engineered, mm -hmm. and I think they have the pattern for it. Yep. The U U UK or United yeah, States. Yeah, I saw I saw um, some information about that. that they they have the pattern, pattern for it. Yeah. So it's not something, and we know the people that are involved in it. We know the people mm -hmm. who are involved mm -hmm. in the, the the plan to depopulate the earth. Yes. I mean, they're really going right in the face of God. To be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. God is gonna deal with them in a mighty way. Yeah, you he's know, he's allowing this. He's allowing this to play out, and I believe he's allowing this to play out for us as a people. Well, well remember to, now, to, to, to yeah. turn away from our from from the wicked so, ways that so, we have been 
hearkening after and to come back to him. That's all he wants for his people to come back to him. Come back. He said, come back. You know, you were, you were gone astray. You were led astray. Come back. Come back. Stop doubting my word. You know, so many people say, oh, it's not our religion. It's somebody else's religion. It's the religion that was used to keep us in bondage. The devil is a liar. Come back. He said, come back. I'm waiting. I, I will forgive you. My mercy endures forever. Come back. That's the message. Yeah. His hands are stretched out still. It is. It is. His hands are stretched out. So, um, so, as, as I say, it's, um, it's all in the hands of God right now. Um, the battle is not our battle. No. Because these people are flying in the face of God. That's and right. that's a very, very dangerous thing to do. Uh -huh. That's a very, very dangerous thing to do to challenge God. Uh -huh. Don't. That's right. Don't. Don't challenge uh -huh. God. Uh -huh. And I say, the I say, these people with the, uh, the population agenda, uh -huh. they are challenging God. Uh -huh. They're not challenging me and you. Uh -huh. Because God says, go forth and multiply. It's, and it's this, amazing, though, Donald. It's amazing when you think of it like this. How many years, hundreds of years, thousands, have they tried to get rid of God's people? And still, no matter what, it's impossible to get rid of God's people. That's what I would say, impossible. It can never happen. We are God's people, and it will remain so. And all God wants is for his people to come back. Wake up from your sleep. Wake up from your slumber. Stop looking at riches. Look at the rich man that can die at any time. How many times have you seen so-called rich, celebrity, famous, have all the, all the things that Christ says? They obtained the whole world, but were they able to save their soul? There are big placards of their name written in lights in this world, but were they able to save their soul? They can't say no. All the wicked that came in the, in, in the, in the days of old. Well, this is, yeah, now? I look at that as well, you know. Look at Nebuchadnezzar. Who was such mm -hmm. a powerful king? He built Babylon, right. and mm -hmm. he and he started to shout and boast himself. And remember That's the Bible: right. "We shall boast ourselves." And he mm -hmm. said, "This is this the Babylon which I created with my own mm -hmm. hands." He, he started to boast, and then right. what happened? <laughs> God sent him out to prophesy that he would go out on the field and he would mm -hmm. eat grass like an animal, mm -hmm. and um, his 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 nails become like claws. <laughs> you see, uh, you see uh, David, what we have to realize, you know, is that uh, the power of God and this, these people, there. these people who are challenging God, they are challenging mm -hmm. God. They are in a very, very dark, the, 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 they have, their corners are, are dark. They, they are in a very, very dangerous I don't know as, how to as, put as, it. As the, as the Bible says, only with your eyes, only, only with thine eyes, will you see the reward of the wicked. I'm telling you, your eyes. Not, 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 not the human eye, no, but the spiritual eye. They're in a, they're in a very pernicious position mm -hmm. to be challenging God. You, 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 you <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how to put it. You know. Mm -hmm. But you know, God does not play. Does God not does play. not play. He does not play. He does not play. He does not play. He, not play. he will give you something. That science can't even tell you what it is. No, I'm that's how it will do with you. He will give you things, situations where you will want to rip your own head off. I'm, I'm saying right now what I know to be true. Okay, this is not even, it's not even a, a, a wondering. I'm talking about now. Even in this time, people seem to think, it, think that what Bob was doing yesterday, he doesn't do today. Believe me, he doesn't. It got, it's just that you don't hear people speak about it. I know of people who go through, have gone through where they felt they were going to go. Mental, could not sleep. Playing could with, not sleep. Playing with God. Seriously, not Donald. But I'm telling you right now, I am a hunch. I'm telling you seriously, not what I think or read about, what I know about. God does not play. No. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. If you don't fear God, then I feel sad. Well, we remember, you know, David, um, God rain, fire, and brimstone mm -hmm. upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Fire and bring <laughs> stone. But people think that's the past. They think it's a storybook. They don't, they don't realize it's true. No, no, listen to this. But listen. Why was, how can, how can anybody be so brave to go every Sunday in a building that they call a church and preach a false 
doctrine. How can they be so brave to build up their fortune here on earth? How are they able to bypass the scripture? What? How? How? No fear, no belief. They are playing with fire. Because I know that their demise will be so great, they can't even comp comprehend it. It would be better that they, get, that, they, that they face a firing squad than what's coming for them. Seriously, God does not play. God well, does not play. No. Better that they didn't say they were associated with God. I truly believe and I know no. from what I've seen. No, when it we, says... It when, says we, when, we claim, when we claim to come in the name of the Lord and we come with yeah. false doctrine, we are in the, the serious danger. The, no, it says here... The, um, it says here in Hebrews 12.29... Um, as you mentioned about God, mm. not to play with God. Mm. It says, for our God is a consuming That's right. fire. Mm. Hebrews 12, 20, 29. Amen. God is a consuming fire. Mm. You don't play with something that can consume you, man. You don't play with that. No. You try to humble yourself. That's right, at all times. And you try to king. beg pardon, but you see the thing is, some people, well, Dave, we have to remember, some people don't have us. You know something? I, I always say that a, a spirit of repentance is a gift from God. There are some people who do not have a spirit of repentance. In other words, they cannot repent. They cannot repent. Did you know that? This is why the Bible says Esau seek repentance with tears. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Esau, the Edomite, the Edom, mm -hmm. seek repentance with tears, crying. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. But was there was no room for repentance. Mm -hmm. Now that's something we need to look into. Imagine that somebody is seeking pardon and there's no pardon given. That that is that is awesome. Awesome. Uh, awesome. I, I, I truly believe that there's a block between a person and God. If you cannot humble yourself, it's impossible. That is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And I, I just want to give you a little illustration, David. I know you soon have to go. Uh, there's also a few little points. Uh, Albert is still there, Albert? Yeah, I've been to see yeah, I'm listening. I'm okay. listening. Sorry, my point about three went dead. Okay, no okay, that's all right. Okay, I just want to give you two little points, David. Um, mm -hmm. about um Esau and um, uh, yeah, <coughs> so our God is a consuming fire, and um, there's um another scripture I wanted to mention to you, um, about um what God said to Abraham, and listen to this now. It's taken from Genesis chapter 15, and um. Going on from verse 13, it says, And he said to Abraham, that's God, said to Abraham, Know of surety that thy seed shall be strangers in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And all that nation whom they serve, I will judge, and afterwards they shall come out with a great substance. Now, people are thinking about it was um, about Israel, um, Egypt in that, those days. But after Deuteronomy, he talk about they will come back into um, they will come back into bondage by ship. So, when we think about uh, from sixteen nineteen to now, four hundred years. We want, we can see that God is going to make a move. This and and everything is complement complement. Everything is coming together now, and everybody knows it's the end. And God is going to move, but we just want to um, be there. You know, welcome Him because He's coming back again. That's right. He's yeah. gonna make a move. There yes. there was a time when He said He's gonna deliver Israel out of Egypt, out of the natural Egypt, and the time came and he mm -hmm. delivered them. 
There was a time when he said he's going to bring rain upon the earth, and the time came and the rain fell. Mm -hmm. There was a time when he said he's going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of the wickedness, and the time came and that city was destroyed. Amen. Time is coming for a change, my brothers. Mm -hmm. Time is coming for a ready. change. <laughs> and we'll let us be ready. ready. <laughs> Make sure we're ready. But don't, don't, you, don't you think this this um, problem uh, uh, I would say the nation were playing with fire and this is for me why we we us as David put that scriptures if my people call by my name humble themselves another word if you want to you got to repent mm -hmm. like what you say mm -hmm. but I think what we we as a as a race i think where we go wrong is the same way we uh, uh, we love that um history spiritual history which is god is history but also men of the history we sit and use them and i'm telling you why we saw me personally i believe why we saw well we have a wrong label between us with god because listen Listen to me very carefully. When the Greek was on power, then the Roman have to learn from Greek. But yet, when you go back now, this is the history is got to do with with the Bible as well. So, so the the, the, the Egyptian now, the Egyptian was power where they were they were Pharaoh. They were having same thing what England, America have, university and all. The Greek and the, the Roman studied by the Egyptian. But now, what Egyptian image is? Was Egyptian a European or Asian, Chinese or like South American and all these race were against black? I'm, I mean, I, I'm saying to you straight. But one thing, this race between the Greek and the Roman the, the Roman, the Greek wrote it in the library that God blessed them to have which means to have the, the black to work for them to another word he is their boss because they say God bless them because they believe when you blown blue eyes God has been with them to bless them, which they wrong, and that's the mentality, that's the philosophy of them. And the Roman is the same, and we are now black. I'm telling you, we are saying we are Christian, but I'm telling you the truth. If we say we follow the Bible, if you and David and myself say we believe, we are wrong because at the end of the day, same Jesus Christ. He never, he never teach us. Actually, when time of Jesus Christ, they used the people to follow Jesus. When Jesus said, I'm the way, the love, the truth. Those people, they were calling them. The way, the way. Before this Christian come, the Christian is a wrong label. And this Christian is to do with pagans. But we don't want to address that. We don't want to teach about that. And we carry, the more we carry, and the more we suffer. Why did Christ, even Christ did not teach? What did he say? He said to the greatest teacher, which you know very well, Nicodemus, unless to get in the kingdom, in my kingdom, that's my kingdom, You have, to enter my kingdom, you have to baptize in water, baptize in the Holy Spirit, you have to be born again. That's right. Christ only mentioned that once. So why we say we are born again, but yet, we say we're Christian. Which is which? We have a big problem too. Um, well, um, Brother Pimpin, if, if, if I may say that um, Christian was like a nickname given to people who I, follow Christ. I think Christian was a nickname given to people who follow Christ. It yeah, was, but, but, it but was, who it, gave that name? It was, okay. it meant, okay. it, it really same, meant. Same way. I know it, it. I mean, I know it has been. Um, what should I say? Um, they have. Um, 
indoctrinated uh, the Christian um, belief and all those things. Uh, especially why people don't believe Christians is because we are presented with a white Christ and a white white e yeah. Israel. No, 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 no. That's where, that's where the problem is. Because yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah, we but have but been presented. We are, okay. It's the same problem. Now, you know, you just went to Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. Now, the same man that Abraham gave tight. Yeah. It wasn't God. No. Yeah? No. Now, no. <laughs> Melchizedek. 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 Yeah. Why Melchizedek is on the Bible? He was a representation. He was represented. The Bible says he had neither beginning of days nor end of days. He was a representative of Christ. Yes, yes. But why is not in the why he is not in the Bible? But yet everyone acknowledges that man was there. He was a high priest actually. Yes, he was. He was a representation of Jesus. There you are. The, the, so why is not in the Bible? Who removed with that scripture? Who responds? No, to no, but the problem been, we have. Who remove but, him? Who remove this scripture? But, but been, okay, but Binti, that um, this, this is a very deep, this, I, I think, I, this is a very I deep topic. Know, you're coming into a very, you you're coming into a very deep topic, and um, because why I'm why I'm saying that is because there are certain things that was taken out of the Bible, okay. And they have other Bible what like means? they have describe okay they, okay like they have the Maccabee Bible which have different um, interpretation of certain scripture. They have the book of um, I think the book of um, Enoch. So there there's several other books that have a little different interpretation. So um, I wouldn't want us to go too much into that because it's gonna lead us away from. But we no, know no, they. No, 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 no. We are talking about God. Yeah. He's, is God seven? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He was Mel God Melchizedek. Seven. Melchizedek was a representation of Jesus Christ, because and it says, well, it says, listen, it says it had neither beginning of days nor end of days. That means he was Christ. He was represented Christ. His name was Melchizedek. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is, he. He's, he's just similar what what they said about Joseph in the Bible. Joseph is a mirror of Christ. So therefore, why him is not lying? In, why the scripture is not? But yet, yeah, he's got his book. Why? Why that book Bible is not there? Who remove it? I'm telling you, there's a wicked spirit that trap us and twist us and separate us from God. And we carry that label. And that's why we even teach um, to worship Sunday. Yeah, but but I think I think, is that? I think the scripture um Burbint is a guideline is a guideline for us. Um the spirit in, uh, no, no, the spirit in us the, the spirit in us there's a spirit in us should be a witness, should be a witness with the word of God. So the, the Bible says the spirit be a weakness. So the spirit in us and the word of and that word that we were to read from the word of God should um, be um, should I say they should be together. But you you are, are you saying Marcus or that it should not be in the Bible or should be? It should be. Ah, oh, but who who did God say to remove it? Did God why, why, why he is never exist, but yet it, the, the scripture been removed. But it, it does mention him. I, I, it, it, but I, it, it, it does mention him in Genesis. Yeah, he mentioned. He mentioned what I'm saying to you is the full understanding that teaching is not in the Bible. Oh, I don't know. I, I can't answer everything yeah. about the Bible. <laughs> But I mean, you know, I love, I love your energy because what you bring, you know, we say that iron sharpens iron. Yeah, yeah. You cause that the, the iron to get together and little sparks yeah. to fly. <laughs> and I know it pleases God. We know that there are many things that have, have been hidden. 
Yeah. You know, but we know that there's also the Holy Spirit that gives us sufficient. That's right. But That's right. We have to also speak truth as well because there will be people that will come amongst us who will ask us questions. You know, and some questions we can't answer. No, but we but we walk by faith. Not That's right. No, you so, How yeah. you explain those those children on the street that you say they? Yeah, you're right. How you explain that? They, you. And they have a right to know. They do have a right to know. But right. there you are. So what I'm saying to you is, even that, I send you the video. I hope you send the video uh, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, sure. world. Because will, what I'm saying to you it. is, the video mm -hmm. before Pharaoh, mm -hmm. there was a king kingdom. Mm -hmm. And this is whose nation is that? Mm -hmm. you, you you have the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will share it's it. similar thing you were watching about the Jews, is it? Mm -hmm. To who? Tibet. Mm -hmm. huh? They stole from who? That's right. You, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Brother and Vincent, to you, mm -hmm. why that scripture as not in the Bible? Why? Yeah. And we know that there's a Bible that's in Ethiopia. <laughs> we can't answer those. Our Bible has 13 books. We, there are many books that were taken out. We can't answer know, those questions. You know, but we can't answer those questions. But, but they were huh? taken out, Vinci. They were taken out because to keep us in bondage. Yeah, we, we understand. Ah, yeah. You see, keep us, you us confused. You, 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 you see, the problem mm -hmm. is not just us no. being, being wrong. Towards God, as you say, four hundred years. I agree, four hundred years. But what I'm saying to you is, there are a twist, wicked spirit that twists us. I'm telling you, you check the Roman history. The Roman is said they glad God bless them, but it's good to be blown eyes, blue eyes. Another word to get oh, cheap the 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 the, the blacks to do the work for them. So what, this is in the library of them. I'm saying there's a very few preachers can preach on that. It's happened very few, and they don't last. Yeah, they wouldn't be last. Saying, wouldn't be last to do that. If we want to speak about God, we can't say one chapter and the other chapter we don't say. Why? What's the matter? What's wrong? <laughs> no, 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 but, but you're laughing, but this, I'm telling you. I'm Which telling I hate, you. believe you me, I hear you. I hear what yeah, you're saying. The, the, Bible, the Bible says, I, I, I totally hear what, and I understand where, you, where you're coming from. I hear you 100%. The Bible says you can know the truth, and the truth will set you free. This main meeting in church, when I ask that question, mm -hmm. pastors give me dirty look. Mm -hmm. Dirty look. Can I just say something here? Um, yeah. It's quite interesting, um, but uh, Bint is stirring us up a bit here right now. <laughs> but uh, Bint is stirring us up. <laughs> but, 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 but we're not finished that subject. We've got to finish because yeah. they start with love. But if you do love God, what I'm saying to you, Jesus never upgraded the Roman Empire. Never. Jesus never. When they left, when he left, he told them, go in the well and preach. And I'm telling you, those disciples was facing the same problem with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they never afraid. So if me and you, as a ambassador, son of God, that's what Jesus described in John. We are son of God, ambassador, and a citizen in his kingdom. I have a scripture, because, because we are stick with the scripture of love, I didn't want to come to it with it. What I'm saying to you is, if we are to believe, me and you, we say we are different, which I believe we are different. So we got to tell the truth. How could you tell little Mark and Mirella about God and your daughter, your, your grandson David, and then you say what they tell you, and then the other part you don't say? Mm -hmm. It's true. You, you, no, 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 no. You see me? I get problem because I believe. I believe God put it in my heart. Mm -hmm. I didn't come here. When I came here, I came here as a porter to work in the hotel, as a porter with a with a family. And I believe now from everything I did, that was that was a season. Mm -hmm. And my season that is over now. Not even a painter. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I believe I came here. For God's purpose. Amen. You, 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 you may not agree with me. No, I, I will agree with you. I, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Even brother don't know. 
It's not just me alone. It's not me alone. It's not me alone, brother Binti. It's you and brother David as well. God will yeah. take. God will take us yeah, places yeah, because right. you, you see. Know, you know what I believe? We are three Hebrews boys standing in the fire. That's <laughs> yes. <all>. You understand? <laughs> three. Oh yes, 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 yes. Three Hebrews boys standing in the fire. David, I'm, I'm, I'm the person sure that God. Is using him yes. to correct <laughs> for correction. Same way God used God to correct the church. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. So you might not agree with me, but what I'm saying to you that scripture that is not finished. Because if we truly believe it, we have to we have to bring everything lined up with the word. Everything. I, I think everything. So. No, no half. No well, half leap up. No we... chicken. No chicken faith. Yeah. Well, the, the Bible, the Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom, and it all will be added." God will add extra knowledge, extra wisdom to us in due season. But yes, we must definitely continue this. Binti, I will always appreciate whenever God puts anything on any of our hearts that we be bold and come to this platform with it. You know, we, we have to be, we have to be able to have a discernment to listen to that still small voice and not never be afraid to speak. And anyone who wants to stop you from speaking is it's, it's, it's not of God so we have to be open to the messages of God when they come and even if it means we go over over a period of time which we've gone over today it is well because the whole time that we've used was given to us by him so you know we, we don't dictate time so I'm very grateful for today's um, conference fellowship Bless you. coming together iron sharpening iron yes and I just pray that you know the Lord will be with us each day that he grants us and that he will forever be the head of what we're doing, and that we will all remember to be humble, to be humble. Yes. And as, as for me, I, I don't need any titles or anything. I'm just here to receive from God, to learn from my brothers, to get get, get the message from God. I don't need any titles at all. I, my, my, my joy and my pleasure just comes from being able to serve him and to call him my savior. That's, that's all I need, nothing more, to remain as humble. And I want to be a, a more humble. Every day I say, Lord, make me even more humble. Mm. Because the, the more humble we are, the more we will hear from him. The more humble we are, the less they will see of us and they will see him. Mm. And what, what we're all aiming for is when we speak to the unbeliever, they don't hear from, from, from Brother Donald, Brother David, Brother, Brother, um, Brother Binti. They hear from God. The only way to have that is to remain extremely humble. I've right. seen churches where they give a whole bunch of titles, superintendent, and, and you know, I've, I've heard evangelist and, I don't need no title whatsoever. No title. The only title that I need is servant of God. Do you know? Do you know? Even lower. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know, um, brother, brothers, that um, 1983, I was ordained minister, um, by a very notable minister in Jamaica named um, Bishop Johnson from Brownstown, St. Anne's. So I've, I've had my ordination now for the, for for the last. 30, um, 30, nearly 40 years now. Oh. Yeah, nine, yeah um, never 37 years or whatever. Yeah, oh. we've only been, I've been only in a minister, Pentecostal church, um, Apostolic Ark. Very wonderful church and big, big church as well. Big um, organization. So, but I mean, as, as you just mentioned, David, that um, it doesn't matter what they call you. It doesn't oh. matter to me either what they call, you know, what oh. they call you. I mean, I, 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 because the thing is, how I see it, um, in, 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 in well, when I was uh, ordained in Jamaica, whenever you go to any church in Jamaica, they all rec recognize you because Jamaica, every, all the organization, they work together. All the Pentecostal organizations. So if I visit any church, they automatically recognize me. And they mm -hmm. said, if there's a minister, so I stand up <coughs> and represent my church. But I notice in this country it's quite different because these churches, the pastors, now quick, 
um, even if they're Pentecostal, they're not ready to accept you for what you are or whatever. Um, so, but I, 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 I queried that one time with the Lord. I queried it. I queried it. So why are these people in this country like that? They, they, you know, if you're a Dana minister, they should recognize you. It's international. But um, then, you know, the Lord spoke back to me and said, it's not what they call you, it's what you do that matters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the point you're making is that it doesn't matter what they call you, it doesn't matter what you, it's what you do that counts. Mm -hmm. exactly. So and you have heart, bishops, heart you have bishops, and I, I know time is going, you have mm -hmm. bishops, you have um, evangelists, you have mm -hmm. deacons, you have... Um, prophet and you have uh, uh, um, apostles yeah. and all those names oh you have you have me I have no name <laughs> I have no titles but, no name I just come humbly before anyone who wants to know God and just but share with the them main thing is that we are, yeah, and, the, and the love of God that's the main I mean. thing is that we are in a position that God can use us mm -hmm. we have Definitely. to be at the position because you know if God can't use us, then we're useless. It says if exactly. the salt loses savor, it cannot salt anything. It's, it's good for nothing. Yeah. So we have to I, I, like, I like what Paul said. Paul said it best. An ambassador in chains. When he was with Peter, he said, silver and gold I don't have, but what I do have, I give, I give to you. Yeah. And, and for me, I, I like that mental best, just to remain humble. I, I will go into a home and, as Christ says, don't even want a seat, sit in the corner on the floor. If someone wants to put me in a place to sit down, I will go there. I don't need to be um, anything. That's right. No titles. No titles. Um, it's, it's not because, because when you think about it, there's no titles in heaven. Yeah, right now. Well, okay. What do you call Moses then? What do you call Moses bishop? No. What do you call Mo you, you you see the problem <laughs> in the Bible? Moses, Paul, Paul, yeah. Peter, Peter. Why they don't bishop? They're known by their fruits. They're known by their fruits. By their fruits, they are known. And that's that how I prefer to be. No, the thing is... Known by my fruits, not by my title. That wicked spirit the, who removes scripture is the same people who are controlling us for 400 years. And we <laughs> carry a wrong level. A wrong level. Uh, but yes. you, you might not agree with me. You know, hey, brother. But I don't know. Yes. Remember, I don't know if you talk before because we go in, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to ask listen, I told I told David, uh you asked my, 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 my point of view and I told David about the video. I ain't got any problem. Okay. You understand? Yes. And good. this is why I believe God is using you as Joshua. Yes. You understand? It's great. But is what I'm saying to you is in future, if you and David talk together, we are in the same agreement. If if always because when I receive, when I look at the video, I didn't see the scripture because that scripture has to be a foundation. Whatever we said, the scripture has to be a foundation. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we are talking about. Well, the you can... you should use that scripture what David used the other day. Yes. Because we can't sell this out. Remember, we have a big responsibility to correct everything is wrong. We, That's right. we are standing That's to right. do it. I'm saying to you, you are Hebrew boy, three Hebrews boy in the fire. The fourth man coming is Jesus. That's right. You understand? Amen. Amen. Yeah? The fourth man, when you're in the fire, the fourth man come. A white coming. Hmm. That is Jesus Christ. That's right. That means you're not going to be burned. That's right. That wicked spirit, what the second well, virus they come. Well, we're not going to, we're going to carry on the same way. In the same way. That virus, that Wicked spirit is not going to touch you. He's not going to touch your wife, your children. You're going to be safe. Yeah. God is you there know, to protect you. You know, you know something. Uh, you. I, know, I know we have to close off soon. You know what? You know what we have to think about. You have to think about, my brethren, is the power of agreement. We need to, we need to think about that. The power of agreement. And you see, we've been talking for nearly for over two hours. And we are on the same, and we are on the same sheet, and we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. it's, it's awesome. Yes, yes. Amen. Yeah, I, I tell you, I love Thursday. I never believe, I never believe Thursday is going to be like that. Book. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Uh -huh. uh, thanks for brother. 
I, because I, it's April. Yeah. Because yeah. it's in control. Thanks for you. I'm telling you. Well, God bless. I, 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 will, I will say before I go, um, it's, you see, like, when the enemy comes in to try and cause disruption, the one thing that gives me joy is on Saturday when the text messages come and I'm being told by by those that participate how wonderful it was, how they look forward to Saturday. So to hear you as well, Binti, saying you look forward to Thursday, all it does for oh, me is remind me that, well, God, that God is in control. Well, that it's a God blessing. is the one that put this together. It's a blessing. I'm the helm. So to God, to God be the glory. Well, God, the God glory. will get the glory, my brother. God, God will get the glory. the glory. And that's the important thing. Yeah. It is well. It is well. Everybody, be at peace. May the good Lord cause his face to shine upon you in all that you do, bring you peace, joy, and happiness. We thank thee for this day that we're able to speak of his greatness, of his mercy, and more importantly, about his love, his agape love. So, and for this, we are truly thankful to you, Lord. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, not in our own names, but in the name of Jesus, the name that belongs above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Savior. Yes. Amen. I... Amen. My brother. My brother D. Yes, sir. There's one thing we sing. Yeah. What, happened with, what happened with that? <laughs> brother Binti? Brother Binti. <laughs> I will say no more. I will say no more. God is in control. Whoever he wants to be here will be here. Well, I said, I said the same thing every Saturday. I said that, you know, whoever's meant to be there on that day is there. That's it. You know, you, you cannot force any, anything or anybody. But we keep everyone in prayer because because we love because we have love in our hearts. We yeah. always pray for anyone who's not here. But you know, God is in control, and everyone has to work at their own salvation. That's it. So you know, I tried. I've tried. So what you can do is try. Okay. All right. Okay. God is in control. Okay. Be at peace. Blessings. All right. All right. Blessings, brother.